a picture from the International Space Station. Uh, and That's former Vice President Al Gore speaking. Gore participated via Zoom in a dialogue with Senator Max Baucus and director of the Max Baucus Institute, Sam Panarella. The internet connects us worldwide, climate connects us in a deeper sense. UN President Seth Bodner sat front and center in the room filled with about 100 other people. Countless others tuned in online. The topic, well, it's one Bacchus himself wasn't always too sure about. Well, to be honest, uh, several years ago, I wasn't too sure we'd get the job done. That as a state, a country in the world, to sufficiently address climate. But now, his perspective has shifted. I'm changing my mind now. I'm much more optimistic. I'm much more inspired. Hey, we're going to do this, but it's going to take a lot of effort. So I leave tonight very encouraged, very inspired. I think uh, Gore arguably brought climate to the forefront of many minds with his 2006 book, An Inconvenient Truth, later developed into a documentary. At the event, climate change was localized with questions about public lands in Montana's eight federally recognized tribal nations. We've got to have a seat at the table so we can be part of the solution. Blackfeet Environmental Program Director Gerald Wagner drove to Missoula from Browning for the event. He's also the National Tribal Environmental Caucus Chair. I'm a member of the Omscaw People Kearney Tribe, the Blackfeet Nation. Up. Wagner told MTN News Native Americans need to be involved in solutions, even though they already face impacts of climate change. A lot of people can leave the hurricane, go up in the mountains, you know, leave the mountains, go down to the beach. This is all we got. We can't pick up and move. Are they going to give us any more land? No. So we are vested in trying to take care of what we have left. But the youth are ultimately what inspired this year's event. It was none other more than climate. Younger people care about it. So I thought I'd invite Al Gore and I'd come and speak to us. Thursday's speaker series with Vice President Al Gore held a tone of urgency, but also agency, as these Montanans and global leaders put their heads together to address climate change. In Missoula, Geneva Zoltek, MTN News.